In this video, we're going to go ahead and work through to find the exact value for the secant of 15 degrees. Well, we know that the function secant here is going to be considered a reciprocal function with cosine because the secant of x equals 1 over the cosine of x. Well, all right, so we're going to use this relationship. And in order to find the exact value for the secant of 15 degrees, I'm actually going to look for 1 over the cosine of 15 degrees. And whenever I find the value of this, then I'll have the value for the secant of 15 degrees. You'll notice here I've written down this difference identity or difference formula for cosine, so we can use this. And so in order to use this, you'll see I have a minus b inside here. So I need to come up with two angles that subtract to make 15 degrees, but they're easy to work with, meaning uh, I know the values for the sine of the angles and the cosine of the angles, okay? So what we can do is go ahead and use cosine of, we'll say 45 degrees minus 30 degrees, because 45 minus 30, of course, is 15. And I also know the sine and the cosine for both 45 and 30 degrees. Well, okay. Well, let's go ahead and use this expansion here. And a big line right there for our fraction. And we'll use this expansion formula. So the cosine of A will be the cosine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 30 degrees. And that's going to be plus the sine of 45 degrees times the sine of 30 degrees. Okay. So basically, it's go ahead and plug these values in and simplify and see what we have. So 1 over, okay, the cosine of 45 is the square root of 2 over 2. The cosine of 30 is the square root of 3 over 2. We have this plus right here. The sine of 45 is the square root of 2 over 2, and the sine of 30 is 1 half. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and kind of simplify this bit by taking these products. So 1 over, so it looks like the square root of 6 over 4 plus the square root of 2 over 4, which we could go ahead and rewrite over just that single denominator. So the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 all over 4. And that's all underneath this 1 right here. So we have this complex fraction, 1 over all of this. So what we could do is go ahead and take the reciprocal of this denominator, bring them up, and they'll have equivalent uh, expressions here. So 4 over the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2, and these two are equal to one another, uh, just because of the relationship that we have with uh, reciprocals. Okay, so we don't really want to leave our answer this way because we have a fraction and we have irrational numbers in the denominator, so we don't like that. So we're going to go through the process that we call rationalizing the denominator. So we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. And the conjugate just means change the sign in the middle so we can set up a difference of squares multiplication. So I'll be multiplying by the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 on top and bottom. Okay, let's go ahead and put parentheses around all those uh, expressions with two terms there. And equals, so we have 4 times the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over. And so this difference of squares kind of factorization focuses on we only multiply the firsts and the lasts because those middle terms actually cancel out when you multiply them. So the square root of 6 times the square root of 6, well, that's 6. And the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, well, that's 2. And we're going to subtract those values. So coming over here, we have 4 times that square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over, well, 6 minus 2 is 4. So these 4's will cancel, and I'm left with the value for the secant of 15 degrees, which is the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2. So here we have the exact value for the secant of 15 degrees, and we went ahead and found that value by using this reciprocal relationship and also including this difference formula or difference identity for cosine 
and then simplifying this by rationalizing the denominator. So here we go, our exact value for the secant of 15 degrees.